Yo, Tordy doing some gaming time on the GS75 Stealth. Super fast screen. In the Steel Series keyboard, it changes the lighting based on your game, so it lights up all the buttons you use in Fortnite automatically, and then when you exit out, it goes back to whatever you have it set up. Nice big 17.3 inch, 144 hertz display. What are you doing here? Challenges. Focus. Oh, that's right. And she plays 58. How was it, Tordy? Awesome. Mm. What up YouTube? Been doing more uh, laptop gaming. Just got lots of uh, gaming laptops versus desktops lately. I actually am waiting to do a have a new uh, Legion. It's not new, new to me. A Legion 17-inch uh, laptop. Really been getting a lot of the 17-inch. I really, really, really think that if you're going to game in a laptop and not use an external monitor, that you're crazy not to get a 17.3-inch display because for me, the 15.6 is tough. 17.3 with a good screen like this and you really don't need a external display unless it's more of like a permanent home use but like I've been sitting here in my kitchen and I've been gaming on this like with my I guess extra headset and I you know can play on this comfortably uh, pretty much just as good as a desktop but this is a uh, MSI GS75 Stealth and it's like the 9SF is the I guess version uh, very thin, very portable, I mean crazy thin, almost like MacBook type thin, um, but delivers like a really, really, really good gaming experience. Um, probably one of the best keyboards uh, as far as lighting um, that I've seen on a laptop compared to something like my Dell G7 or my Legion, which my Legion right mm -hmm. now has the just regular white keyboard, white mm -hmm. backlit, it's not RGB but I, I really don't care too much. Um, I've been really hunting for one of these. I had the 2080 15.6 inch version and it was okay, just crazy hot, very loud. Um, and um, I just, I'm not a big, big fan of the 15.6. Uh, and I really wanted this version because of the portability. I love the display and I love the keyboard lighting. And actually the feel of the keyboard feels very natural for me. Um, but I wanted that same laptop with the 17 inch version. So if you look back at my other videos, I actually have a review of that. And uh, it was with an MSI uh, 2070 Max Q laptop I had as well, a different one. And um, this thing, like I said, I loved it, but now I've been hunting for like two months now to try to find a GS75. And ironically, there was a kid about an hour and a half from me that was in the military, got back from deployment and uh, had a desktop and just posted it up for a thousand bucks and was like, you know, I don't need it since I'm back from deployment. And when I met up with him, the laptop was in like perfect condition because he said he didn't have internet where he was, so he couldn't even really game on it. The only thing is it has like this tiny little dent right there. I guess it looks worse in camera, but you can barely see it i really don't care um that's the only thing i guess that i noticed when i bought it but like the screen is perfect the outside is perfect very aesthetically pleasing laptop it is a fingerprint machine like right now it's pretty clean but like you can kind of see like fingerprints right there um it's definitely a fingerprint machine because it's metal um but i same deal i really i'm not I try to review stuff like I'm not real big on specs and all that stuff. I'm more about real world use. This thing is amazing to game on. Probably the second best I've ever gamed on. The very best was a Lenovo Y740 Legion with a 17.3 inch um, 144Hz G-Sync with a RTX 2080. Uh, I just regret selling that. Went to a good friend of mine, so I'm cool with that. You know, he loves it. The only thing I did not like was the lesions have this big, huge back piece, which is where all your ports are, which is nice, but it makes up for a much bigger machine. 
and it literally barely, barely fit in my backpack, and my backpack is obnoxiously huge. So this thing right here fits in my same backpack like it's not even there. Um, but this screen is like, I think, 400 nit brightness. It's crazy bright, crazy clear. It's IPS. Uh, it's 144 hertz. It's butter, butter smooth. Um, there's virtually no bezel. Um, I love the black with the gold um, versus like the red or the blue, like the, you know, the Dell or, you know, black and red, just notorious gaming machine. I love the black with the gold. I think it kind of gives it like a classy look. Um, mouse pad. I love it. It is big. It gets in the way when you're gaming, but there's a button up here. It is right here, F3. So you hit function F3 and it disables it. So boom, problem solved. Like so I've heard people complain about they accidentally hit the mouse while they're gaming, whatever. Like just disable it, problem solved. Um, but I've been gaming on this for the last four or five days and I'm blown away. Um, so this model is a ninth generation Intel i7 9750H. Uh, six cores, 12 threads. Uh, nice, nice, nice mobile processor. 16 gigs of RAM, it's got a terabyte NVMe solid state in it, and a RTX 2070 Max-Q. So, I mean, y'all see my videos, I do play a lot of Fortnite on here, and um, it plays Fortnite beautifully at well over 100 frames per second. Um, so, with the screen, it is very, very, very smooth. Um, I've been playing Modern Warfare on here. Um, I've already pre-ordered the new Call of Duty, so I'm trying to play a little bit more COD to get freshened up on that because I'm going to make some uh, content, content when that comes out. So I want to make sure I kind of sort of know what I'm doing. Um, the last time I actually played Call of Duty intensely was, I guess, like Call of Duty 4, Modern War the original Modern Warfare. Anyways, um, I pretty much owned every one since, but I haven't really hardcore played any of them. Um, right now, I'm using the G... I don't know what this is. G502 SE. Um, I like it. I think it's a great mouse. It feels great in hand. It's got some good weight to it. But for Fortnite, this scroll wheel is very, very loose. Where like I kind of need like a click, so if I'm changing guns or something, I can click up, click down. This kind of goes when it wants to and stops when it wants to. I mean, it's still going there. Um, so I don't know. I don't really like it too much. I just, it, it sucks because I love how it feels in hand. It's very like natural feeling. Um, but anyways, I'm off, off topic. Back to this. Super, super thin, super lightweight. Um, like I said, these sell for a lot right now, even used. And I was thankful to find one for a thousand bucks. Still undecided on if I want to keep this or let go of my Dell. The only thing I'm not impressed with in this is the Wi-Fi. So I am sitting here. My Wi-Fi is right there. And sometimes during gameplay I get like that wireless internet like, you know, yellow red connection thing when I'm playing on Fortnite, which is kind of crazy because... Um, Let's see, I think it might be a 1550i in here. We'll find out together. But I am not impressed. It is a Killer E2500. And then it says Intel Wireless AC 9560 160 megahertz. It's garbage. Um, it's really, really bad. I think if I do sell the Dell, I'll probably take the Killer 1650X out and put it in here. Because, I mean, it's, I don't know, I really think it needs to be upgraded. I don't understand, you know, I mean, I have a 300 megabyte connection and a really, really good router. And I'm like 10, 15 feet tops away and it's giving me issues. So, I don't know. That's, I guess, my only gripe. does have Ethernet. So, we'll go to the ports here. My wife uses a Logitech headset. And it's nice to have the headphone and microphone. Because my Dell only has a microphone, and I have to use like a USB adapter to be able to use the microphone. It's just kind of ghetto. USB uh, micro SD, which sounds stupid, but I actually love that because like I shoot with a GoPro and it takes a micro SD, so I can literally pop it right in there without any kind of a dongle or anything. USB, Ethernet, 
and then your uh, your charger and same deal people gripe about it blocking the vent whatever I don't really honestly think it changes thermals in any way shape or form um, on this side we have USB-C Thunderbolt port what a miss hold on USB-C okay this is USB-C USB USB 3, USB 3, then Thunderbolt, then HDMI. So we have USB C. I know it's not really picking up too well. I'm trying to change that. There we go. So USB Type C, USB 3, Thunderbolt, HDMI. Plenty of ports. The only thing I'm not real pumped about is it does not have a, a, like a mini display port. So for like VR, um, I do like that. Let's see. My old Acer Predator had a full size display port, which was awesome for VR. And the Dell has a mini display port, which I have an adapter for. This I can't even run on VR because I'd have to buy some kind of like a Thunderbolt or USB C adapter or whatever to be able to get it to work. But um, kind of go through here real quick too and show you guys some of the um, preset. Um, lighting for the keyboard because it is awesome it is uh, done by steel series you can see it like literally this is in the metal it's not a sticker pretty fancy so we have aqua blue mm, chakra it's kind of like a rainbow there you go you kind of see here now how it shows all like the fingerprint marks but Default, um, that's just something I had saved uh, just basically to help my wife who's switching over to mouse and keyboard. So I lit up the WASD and then the one through five. That's something I created. Disable, Disco, which is what I had it on before. It actually just gets confusing. Um, this is Drain it's called. Pretty cool. Fortnite default, that's what we were playing on when the game was on. Freeway, kind of moving back and forth like a highway there. Let's see what else we got. Plain, so it's all just kind of plain light with a red F key for some odd reason. And we have rainbow split. And we have roulette. Kind of goes in circles in different colors here. But there's all sorts of different ways you can customize it. So here, we'll just put it back on default here, the pink with the blue, pretty cool. There was one too though. Let me open this. That was, thought something about gold, but I don't see it. Gold splash, that's it. Also a pretty cool one with the gold. It kind of matches the um, the color of the laptop. But like I said, I mean, very, very awesome machine. Kind of doubles as like a, I guess a, I don't even know. I mean, a two-in-one as far as not a tablet laptop, but like a portable workstation slash, you know, a pretty extreme gaming machine. Um, without being super thick and heavy like the Predator. Definitely a two-handed opener. The hinge is not uh, very good with one hand. But, anyways, like I said, definitely consider if you can pick one of these up, especially at this price, go for the 17-inch model. Uh, I have videos now up of both, and you will definitely, definitely, definitely love the 17.3-inch display. So, anyways, guys... Like I said, stay tuned. My next, um, I guess, machine is going to be the Lenovo. It's a Wi Fi 40 17.3 inch machine that I also got a crazy good deal on. Here, I'll show it to you real quick. So, here it is. Coming up in my next video, you can see with all the ports in the back. Fired up real quick. Boom. That's what I'll be editing this video on. But. If you're interested in hearing more about that machine, I mean this right here is what I have set up and I've been gaming on pretty much exclusively for the last two weeks now, well 
be two weeks and two more days. So almost two weeks I've been exclusively exclusively gaming on this. So um, if you want to know my honest opinion on that, that's what's coming next. So anyways, guys, like I said, if you like my video, please like and subscribe. And uh, drop a comment below. And um, like I've been really good about being responsive to all my comments. So if you have any comments, good chance uh, I'll, I'll be able to respond to it. So anyways, guys, y'all stay safe and have a great day.